We store information as bits. That means with patterns like this, on-off charges of electrical impulses or magnetic charges or anything else that can represent one condition and a second condition, we can use these to represent binary values and these on-off values in these patterns can be used by agreement to represent different characters, different pieces of information. So for example, a capital letter H is represented by this off, on, off, off, on, off, off, off. Eight bits make up this character. A small letter H would have a different bit pattern. And you can compare this small H to that capital H and you'll see the on-off pattern is different. And the same goes for every one of these characters and numbers and punctuation symbols and other kinds of signals that by agreement we've assigned these kinds of bit patterns to. Even for example a space which has a definite bit pattern of all the bits off except this third one on. So a space isn't nothing, it's really the transmission of an 8-bit pattern. Information is stored this way inside the computer. In fact, at the keyboard, every time a user of a computer presses a key on the keyboard, a signal goes from the keyboard into the computer, and the computer associates that signal with one of these 8-bit patterns and stores it in random access memory here, which the computer's thinking unit, the central processing unit, uses as kind of a scratch pad. This bit pattern here is interpreted to be various letters and characters on the screen. It can be saved in a variety of ways which physically represent the on-off pattern in different ways. So we have a CD-ROM which represents on-off patterns by little pits in the silver surface of the disk. CD or DVD does that. We might save the on-off patterns in flash memory, USB memory, which uses circuitry that doesn't require any power in order to save the bit pattern that's stored there. We might send the bit pattern off to a printer and it would interpret these bits to represent these different characters on the receipt of each one of these different bit patterns. That's how we manipulate information using a computer. It's all based on the storage of information using on-off patterns as codes to represent this alphabet and various other symbols and various signals that represent things like the ringing of a bell or the end of a line or other control characters as we call them.